Hi folks and welcome back to the Movie Mad channel for part 6 of my complete Blu-ray collection. Now this uh, part I am actually going to start off with DVDs. I know it's not some people's thing they don't like DVDs but the problem with this one is that these you can't get them on Blu-ray so they're on my shelf for that reason. So I shall show you. Oh, drop them. So I have Deep Space Nine Season 7 Season 6, Season 4, Season 3, and Season 1. So I'm missing Seasons 2 and 5, which I still need to get on there. So I will be getting them shortly. And I say, the, you can't get these on Blu-ray yet, and that's why they're there. And also, here we are, Voyager. Oh, I'm trying to drop them. Season 5, Season 4, Season 3, Season 2, and Season 1. And I say, they're in my collection because I don't have, uh, they can't get the Blu-rays for those ones. So they're on my Blu-ray shelf because of that. I do still need a couple of seasons of Voyager as well, 6 and 7, but I won't talk about, about much about Star Trek because I'm probably going to do a series on that later on. But they are in my collection. The reason they're on my Blu-ray shelf is because I cannot get them on Blu-ray. So we'll move on to what else is on my Blu-ray Blu shelf. Train Spotting 2. The follow-up to Train Spotting 1. I picked this up for a pound on Marketplace about a week after it came out. Actually enjoy the sequel, it's pretty good. Chronicle Steelbook. I did have a Chronicle Blu-ray in my collection, but I I didn't am I one for keeping lots of different editions? Sometimes it just depends on what it is. But if it's just a standard copy of the steelbook, I'll just get rid of the standard copy. So thank you. I like that as a decent movie. Red Dawn, the remake with uh, North Korea invading America instead of Russia. Oh, how the times change. But it's actually a decent remake. It's not too bad. It's, it's not... It's, you have to work it in its own, own, own right. It's Is it as good as the first one? Probably not. Is it an okay movie? I think so. I think it's decent. It's worth a watch. Wrecked with Adrian Brody. Haven't watched it. Misfits. Season 1, go out of charity shop, haven't watched it. Three Kingdoms, haven't watched it either. Oh, Monster Wolf, haven't watched it. Andrew and Jolie and Morgan Freeman and James McAvoy in Wanted. People think this, this was a throwaway action movie. I actually think it was really good. I enjoy it, and it does have rewatchability for me. I watch it quite. A, I watched it quite a bit. I especially like the bit where he smashes the guy with the keyboard. That's a really good bit of that. So, deal with the wanted. Tinker Steel or Soldier Spy, British Spy. Still, we got Colin Firth, Tom Hardy, John Hart, Hart, Mark Strong, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Gary Oldman. Political thriller, I would say that is, but what a cast. And I've watched that over uh, quite a few times, because the first time I didn't really get it, but the second time I, 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 was, I was, was more uh, grown me, so this is grown me, I do like that one. Eli Loft, Screen Inferno. I got that to trade in, but I uh, didn't, I mean, I didn't do it. So I haven't watched it yet. Five Minarets in New York. I thought this was like a good cast with Danny, Danny Glover and Robert Patrick. And I got that on Music Magpie, so that was good. Haven't watched it yet. The Retreat. I got that because look at the cast again. Tandy Newton, Cillian Murphy and Billy Elliot or Jamie Bell. Which you like call. So I got that too. Haven't watched it yet. Batman. The original with Jack Nicholson. I have seen this a long time ago. Haven't watched it for a while. <laughs> Got this from my wife, but she hasn't watched it yet. That's Beverly Hills Chihuahua. 
Unchained. Again, another £50 music mag by Pick Up. And that I haven't watched. Marley and Me with Jennifer Aniston and Owen Wilson. This is a sad story, I think. And the reason I know it's sad is because I've heard about it, but I haven't watched it. Rambo. The fourth Rambo. I actually thought this was a decent decent comeback. I liked it. But he's older and he's sort of living in the jungle. Good. That's pretty good as well. So, the final chapter, 3D. I've watched the first one, that's the only one I've watched. I had the full box set and I traded it in because you got 38 quid for it and I wanted to buy two Arrow Special Editions. So I've done that. So I... 38 or 28, it was one of the two. And I thought I can always buy the Saw movies back. So that's the first one I bought back, which was Saw 3D, the final chapter. So I'm looking for the rest of them. And they'll probably be 50 or P or pound pickups when I get them. Or I might be able to rebuy the box set back. The Lost World, Jurassic Park. Remember watching this? Can't remember much about it. For your eyes only, I'm trying to collect all the Bond ones, but I haven't watched this one either. Cloud Atlas, weird movie. I've watched this twice halfway through and never got to the end. Inherent Vice. Don't know anything about it. Can't even remember why I bought it. <laughs> Shows, sometimes when you're, I say, when you're in the charity shop, and you see them and you think, oh that looks good and it's a pound, you better you take it while you can. So that if you do want to watch it, you can get it. Picked this up and up from Music Magpie and I thought I really liked the cover. And that one, I've only just recently got that and that's Aftershock by Zyro. A zombie movie in Africa, again. Movie I really want to catch. And I got that off Amazon for 2 99 and that is The Dead very recently. What a classic that is, The Ghost, with Demi Moore and Patrick Swayze. But, I think you've got to say, Whoopi Goldberg steals the show in this film. Sam Weed, Sam Weed, Edwin 8, I am, I am. <laughs> That's, it's really good, I, I do enjoy it. I think, you know, there's a lot of lovely dovey stuff in it, but I think it's, I think it's a comedy. I class as a comedy. <laughs> The Hills I Have Eyes 2, picked that one up because I had the first one and I remember watching this one, it wasn't good as this the remake but it was still okay. Glory stuff. Outpost 2, Bound by Duty, Broken by Fear, you'll be stuck. I thought that looked good because that's a one of one of films really so I bought it and I haven't watched it yet. The Hunt for Red October, what a classic that one is. John Connery is a Russian captain. Who's it? Is it Alec Baldwin? Mm -hmm. It's Alec Baldwin. Yeah, and uh, playing Jack Ryan. And the other, what was the other guy playing the captain? I can't remember. Very miss Connery. So yeah, uh, I've watched this quite a bit. I really, really, I really enjoy that. Hopefully 4K that comes out. Interstellar. Picked up in the charity shop for 50p, I think. And it's a good movie, just the bookcase bit at the end is a bit weird, but it's good to watch, it's worth watching. Uh, good post-apocalyptic, end-of-the-earth type stuff. Now, on my bottom shelf are some of my box sets of TV shows, and they are, shall we say, my incomplete ones, or some, well, some of them are my incomplete ones that I'm still looking to get the other parts for. I got this in Poundland when it came out. And that is House of Cards, complete first season. House of Cards, the complete second season. Good series, this. So I'll be looking for the other ones as we go forward. And more likely, they'll come out in Poundland or they'll come out somewhere and I'll pick them up. I have got the Big Bang Theory series 1A on Blu-ray, but I did pick up some of these sets and most of them in the charity shop for a pound or 50p. So I picked up the complete series 6, the Big Bang Theory. Season 1, Season 2, Season 5. So I've got four seasons on Blu-ray. 
what a show that is, the Big Bang Theory. I really enjoy, really enjoy it. The <laughs> some of the favourite episodes that were are actually well, my daughter likes to watch is Sheldon learning to drive, and uh, the one where he gets Spock DNA for Christmas. That's a good one. That's one a good a good one as well. There are some really really classy episodes of that. That's a great great show, and I will own every single series of that. I will do. We will get that all or every single series on Blu-ray. Oh, this is thirsty whack going through your Blu-ray collection. It is indeed. So just a bit of diluting juice today. No look as no bit in the shop shit. Oh well. Still not bad. That keeps me going. So next up, I have Band of Brothers. Blu-ray box set in the tin. Complete series. I did have this on DVD, but I upgraded to the Blu-ray, and that's a really, really good show. Classic. Follow. Listen. Watch Saving Private Ryan, then watch this, or watch this, then watch Saving Private Ryan. I think that's a good order. And I've also got the follow-up Pacific. I don't think this is as good. It's got a lot less action in it than the the the, the Band of Brothers. I feel anyway, but. Still very well well made and a great histor historical account of what happened. So again, I've got that on Blu-ray, which is the Pacific. Seventy one with Jack O'Connell. This is about a film about the trouble in Northern Ireland and a British soldier getting stuck behind enemy lines and some people helping him get out without getting killed. Good movie. The remake of Pet Cemetery. I picked that up on eBay for one pound ninety, and I haven't watched it yet. I really do want to watch the remake, but that really that really is one I really should be watching. Dunkirk. I've kept the Blu-ray. I picked that one up here. I picked it up on four K now, but I'll show that later on. But I've just kept the Blu-ray for now because my daughter likes it, and she, she and uh, she likes to keep it. I think. Or she's going to keep the second copy. Underground. Another. Music Magpie Horror one, I've not watched. <laughs> now you see me too. I've seen the first one, but I haven't seen the second one. Uh, so I've kept that, and I'll have to rewatch the first one before I watch that one again. A Nightmare on Elm Street. I really want to get all of these, but I, uh, the sets have sometimes came up when they've been decent prices, but it's always when I've had no money or something like that, and I've just not got it. So I've got Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, a Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. People like the remake. I like the original. And I, I've not watched the remake yet, so I should. Oh, another classic. The complete Battlestar Galactica on Blu-ray. If you haven't seen my Battlestar Galactica video, have a look at that for more details. Shall we say? <laughs> Al Pacino, Scent of a Woman. Great movie with Chris O'Donnell. Al Pacino plays a great part here. That's an absolute classic. Absolute classic. It's about a blind man who gets help, but it turns out the blind man helps the student rather than the, the other way around. Well, maybe they help each other a bit. Senna, I haven't watched it. I think this is a foreign release. I don't know where I got it. Is this region one? I think I picked it up in the charity shop and I haven't tried to watch this, but I'm sure it'll be quite fine on my region three player. Rock and Roller, Guy Ritchie film, it says in the front. With Gerard Butler, you really need to ditch that case, look at the state of it. We shall uh, trade that out for another one. But I uh, haven't watched it yet. Lucky number seven, Poundland Pickup. Again, still sealed, haven't watched it. Rio 2. Have I seen this on another shelf? I'm Rio sure this is on another shelf. I must have picked this up twice, I think. I must have, I must have picked this up twice, unless the other one's not the 3D version. If anyone has seen the other part, so let me know if it's in there.
Oh, just pause the video because Jax has joined us back from a walk. How was that walk, Jax? Very invigorating, was it? Was it very invigorating? Oh, yes it was. Say hello to all the viewers. Oh, you didn't like getting hold of like that. Say hello. You're panting for your walk. Let's get, let you have a wee settle down. Yeah, we settle down there, that's fine. So, moving on. USS Indianapolis. Men of Courage. Picked that up on Blu-ray, had it on DVD. That was an upgrade for me, so I picked that up really good. I really enjoy that. Nicholas Cage. A lot of CGI in it, but it's a good story. Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise. Another great movie. I really enjoy that one. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I actually really enjoyed this movie. It's a good one. People, is it forget? I did say it's forget, but I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was good. I think it's well worth a rewatch. Le Mans, I can say it right this time, with Steve McQueen. I haven't watched it yet. Peaky Blinders. Series 1, picked it up off Moving Wi Fi. Was that, that was an absolute shocking attempt at on an accent. But I have watched some of the first series of that, but I can't remember enough about it to tell you. So, got on Music Wi Fi. Paranorman 3D. I haven't watched it. Dog Eat Dog. Haven't watched it. Nope, the William Defoe Nicholas Cage. Battlestar Galactica, Blood, Blood and Chrome. Have watched this, the prequel where Adam was a fighter pilot. Extended the edition, I thought that was pretty good. San Andreas. Good movie. It's a, you know, it's a, disaster, it's a disaster movie. It's a big popcorn Hollywood budget disaster movie. And that, and they're no, they're no intriguing. They're no, like, art cinema. They're there just to pass the time. Give you a bit of good explosions, give you some good action, and I think that does it. Pirates of the Caribbean on Strange Tides. Again, if you've seen, watch the other video, if this is my collection, let me know. Whiteout. I have watched this with Kate Beckinsale, I thought it was okay. Not great, but alright. After Earth. Steelbook with Jaden Smith and Will Smith. Picked this up from Finland. Haven't watched this on the on this release yet because I've got a love film disc which I watch when I want to. And this gets a lot of hate. It does. I don't think it. My personal opinion is I don't think it was a terrible movie. I think it was a forgettable movie. I like to rewatch these to give myself a second opinion. But everybody seems to hate this a lot. And I think that gets too much hate. Step Brothers Extended Edition. This feels like a heavy case. It's got the Blu-ray digital copy, uh, double disc there. Haven't watched it. Empire State. Watched this halfway through. Couldn't get through it. Decent cast, but I just couldn't get through the end of it. Sucker Punch. Have I, again, have I had that in my collection before? I might have. I really need to start keeping note. But that one, don't like it whatsoever. Thought it was terrible. <laughs> Let's be, I'm not going to say be honest. <laughs> there you go. Oh, here we go. Universal Soldier with Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. Love this movie. He's eating the steak, just eating a big raw bit of steak at the, at the counter in the supermarket, Dolph Lundgren. Or when uh, John Claude Van Damme's in the uh, cafe and the guy comes over and, he, and the guy goes over, you got anything to pay for this? And he doesn't know what money is and he sort of just stands there and uh, they start off trying to pile in on him and he goes, I just want to eat. And he starts kicking them all through the window. <laughs> then as the lady comes in, he's just sitting there. Really like that movie. Labyrinth Digibook. I've got the 4K, but keeping the Digibook too. Good movie. 80s David Bowie fantasy classic. Picture perfect. I picked this one up to set up a TV, but it's a 4K TV. And did it do a good job or not? I'm not quite sure. But picked it up anyway. 
Orange is the New Black, Season 2. And Season 1. I've watched four of these seasons and I thought it was okay. But I preferred when Jim was in it. Does Jim sort of, you know, Jim, he's, he's our uh, boyfriend. Jim at American Pie. It's good. It's okay. That is better. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. There's a few people from American Pie here, Nikki as well, isn't it? Yeah. And I picked them up at the charity shop for pound ninety nine each, so that's good. Boardwalk Empire, the complete first season. What am I doing? Why have I got the complete first season twice? Oh, there's a double for you. I thought it was season one and season two. I've got season I've got season two somewhere. The confusion in my face. Good series. Raging Bull. Have watched it. Thought it was good. Haven't watched it for a very long time. Haven't opened this. Picked it up because it was a 3D. Hunger Games actually. Why is there any? I don't know even why. But what? Don't judge me, as John Flexer would say. I must have been in one of those moods where you go into the shop and you buy something to make yourself feel better about yourself. At least I got a red case of it. <laughs> the Fisher King Criterion Collection. I haven't watched it. The Robin Williams Death Bridges and Terry Gill. Picked that up in the charity shop. I think I only paid £2 for it. So, not a good deal. Oh, get an itchy face. Jabberwocky. I haven't watched it yet. Criterion Collection, got it in CX. The Blob, got that in a good deal. Criterion Collection with Steve McQueen, classic, that's really good. Enjoy that one. Shawshank Redemption. What can you say about that one that's not already been said? I think it's a good film. It's a great film. Is it my top film? What's on IMBD is the top film ever. Is it my top film? No. But it's certainly up there. Alpha Dog, spoke about that the other day. Picked that up on a recommendation from Jason's TV and movies, but I haven't watched it yet. Michael Caine in the Epperius file. That's the type of movies I like to watch, but I haven't watched it yet. Three Days of the Condor, things like that. So I don't know anything about that one. Another season. Damages. Picked it up in that ex rental store that closed the last rental store that we had, but there you go. Downtown Abbey, season one. Picked it up, I actually tended to give that to my grand, and I'm still gonna. But she doesn't have a Blu ray player. So we'll have to sort that out first. Breaking Bad. Complete first, second, and third seasons. I'm sure I've got season four somewhere as well. Great show. The Horseman picked it up off Music Magpie because I like the premise on it. I also just remembered why I did get this because I've seen it halfway through and I haven't finished it yet and I, I was on TV. So let me watch that. 28 Days Later. That should be in a box set, but it's out. Great movie. Great zombie flip. Highlander. Another good movie. About the immortal life. Hocus Pocus. Can't beat that. Glad I got that blurry. Bet Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker. Good story. This is a great kids Halloween movie. Journey to Sending the Left. Haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna. One day. <laughs> the Conversation with Gene Hackman, that's why I picked that one up. I haven't seen it, it's like 1974, so you like spy thriller. I think it's like a, I don't know if it's like a prequel to Enemy of the State, but I think it's something like that. So, look forward to watching that one. Star Crash, picked this up in the charity shop, I think I paid three, three or four pounds for it, I'm not quite sure. But it looks really, really 60s space. And I picked it up for that reason. Firewall with Harrison Ford. I've watched that a long time ago. Can't remember anything about it. 
Total Rico, the Colin first one. I have watched it, but I can't remember enough about it to let you know if it was any good. Right. Oh, moving on. What do we got next? My assistant sanding with them. Aren't you assistant? <laughs> Warhorse. Steven Spielberg. Great movie. Oh. What's next? Okay. If I had a top 10 movies of all time, this would be in it. So glad I've got this on Blu-ray. And people hate it. People seem to hate this movie. They don't hate it. But I just think it's so underrated. Again, it's sort of American patriotism, I should say. But And that's Kevin Costner and The Postman. We'll take these stickers off that. Oh, is my phone going off? Oh! I hate stickers are normal that bad, but this one doesn't even work. I don't want to work on my postman. Oh well, fine anyway. I'll get it off. There we go. And this is a story of, again, post apocalyptic America where all functioning is glad there's been some kind of war. And Kevin Costner is like a con man, sort of. And he's just trying to get a meal. And he pretends he's a postman from the United States Postal Service. To re and he's trying to re and says he's trying to re-establish the government just to get a meal, and it turns out that people believe in him and they, they have a whole army sort of going, sort of going against the bad guys that have taken over America all on horseback. Was this before or after Waterworld? I have to say I really really enjoy this movie. That's why I've spent. If it ha you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it in my top ten. If you have seen it, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd really like to know what other people's thoughts are on this one. Train to Bushcan. Have watched it. Good movie. Can't remember the ending. Conan and the Destroyer. Picked this up at Asda for £3. Got two other copies that were £3. Each traded them in the CX for £5. Got £10 back. Good movie, Conan and the Destroyer. One of Arnie's early classics. As Above, So Below. Horror. I haven't watched it. Perks have been a while for her. I haven't watched it. Cross the Border with Rupert Grint. I thought that looked like a good movie. So I picked it up and it's for Poundland and another war one. So happy to get that one and we'll get to it eventually. Another Poundland special, Jane Got a Gun. Picked this one up again. Natalie Portman, it looked like a good western. So we'll get around to watching that. There's my thin red line. I do have it on Blu-ray. Do you have that? That should have been in my top ten war movies. We need to watch that again. Good to go through your shelves doing that every now and again. Some dog millionaire. That's a double because that's a double because that's in my pack of four. So I think I'll put that away. All right, movie. The Big Short. I haven't watched it. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, 3D. Nice, nice addition. That's the extended edition as well. I wonder if the other 3D ones are the extended editions too. Automata. Flat Case from Powerland. I haven't watched it. Rise of the Shadow Warrior. I haven't watched it. Spring Bakers. I haven't watched it. Public Enemies Metal Book Case. Actually, I got this for some day. And I was going to send it off to them, and I forgot who it is. So I've got two. So if you are the person, remind me who it was. 2000 Days on Earth. Money Monster. I should have said I haven't watched 2000 Days on Earth. 
good cast in this one and a great slip cover, so that's why I bought that with Julie Roberts and George Clooney. Do want to watch that one? The complete first series of MacGyver. I haven't never seen MacGyver, so this was up on Zoom's offer one day, so I took it. I was still haven't watched it. And last night with Morgan Freeman and Clive Owen. I watched this, I didn't think it, I thought it was okay, I didn't think it was a terrible movie, but forgettable is what I would call it. So, that's my part six of my, it's part six isn't it? It's part six of my complete Blu-ray collection. So I'm glad you've stuck with it, I hope yeah, people who have commented have been enjoying the series. So I shall hopefully film part seven in the next day or so. And uh, I hope you continue to watch. I appreciate it. I appreciate all you know, your help. If you do want to uh, subscribe, please give it a subscribe at the side. And if you do want, if you do like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And that way, we can see you next time, as John Flickster would say. Goodbye.